Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the types of compound propositions. Okay. So we have already done compound propositions. So now what are the three types? There are three types of compound propositions. So the first proposition is tautology. Now what is a tautology? A tautology is a compound proposition that is always giving you true value, right? So irrespective of your input, Whenever the compound proposition gives us a true value, that proposition is called a tautology. So from the word tautology, T stands for true, right? So let us check an example. We have P and Q implies Q. So in my previous video, I've already told you how to construct the truth values of a compound proposition. So if you haven't checked it, please check it so that you are able to frame the compound the truth values of the compound proposition here. So when we make the truth table for P and Q implies Q, what is going to be the truth table? So let us see the inputs are P, Q, then we have P and Q, and then we have finally P and Q implies Q. So when we write the truth values, the statements can be both false, one can be true and the other one can be false, or both can be true, right? Now, let's see what are the truth values of P and Q. So, F and F is again F. T and F is also F. F and T is F. P and T is T, right? Now, P and Q implies Q. So, false implies false is always true. False implies false is always true. False implies true is also true. True implies true is also true. Now, if you check the truth values of the last column, the required compound proposition, that is always giving you a true value irrespective of your input variables, right? So, this statement will be called as a tautology, right? Okay. So, let's move on to the second type. So, in the second type of the statement, what is there? So, in the second statement type, we have a contradiction. So, a contradiction is a compound proposition that is always false, right? So, let us see that which type of propositions are always false. So, let us check this proposition, compound proposition. So, according to this compound proposition, what are the requirements of this proposition? We require P. We require Q, we require negation P, we require negation Q, then we require P or Q, then we require the combination of all the three statements with an AND operator, right? Okay, so now let's see what all requirements we have. Both the statements can be false or one of them can be true and one of them can be false or both the statements can be true, right? When both are false, sorry, when F is, P is false, negation P is true, and when P is true, negation P is false, right? When Q is false, negation P, Q is going to be true, and when Q is true, negation Q is going to be false. Now, what is P or Q? F or F is F, T or F is T, F or T is T, T or T is T. Now, when we combine all these three statements with an AND operator, what will it give rise to? T and T and F will be F. F and T and T will be F again. T and F and T will again be F. F and F and T will be again F. Right? So, can you see that in the last column, irrespective of your input variables, the statement is always giving you a false answer, right? So such compound statements qualify for contradiction, right? So this is a contradiction. Clear? Right. And we move on to the third type of compound statements, that is a contingency. Now, sometimes it might, it might happen, happen that the truth values may be true or may be false for some inputs or input variables, right? So, whenever the statement is neither a tautology nor a contradiction, so that type of compound proposition is called a contingency. 
example let's check out some examples negation p and negation q so you can try this on your own also so you can make the inputs p and q and then negation p negation q and finally negation p and negation q right so when you fill up this table we will have both the values false one of them true or one of them false or both the values true so now what is negation p it will be true false true false or it will be true true false false right now join them with an and operator true and true is true false and true is false true and false is false false and false is again false so you can you see that it is neither true nor false it is a mixture of true and false so whenever it is neither a tautology nor a contradiction then that statement is called a contingency right so i hope you have understood all the three conditional compound propositions so here in this example you can see that i have taken a negation a a or negation a and then a and negation a so when we have the truth values of a as true and false the negation a values are giving us false and true a or negation a is giving us both true result and a and negation a is giving us a false result right so looking at this column no matter whatever is a the compound proposition is always giving me the value true so the first statement this will be called a tautology right and if i check the second statement irrespective of a it is giving me a false result so this statement will be called as a contradiction right so i hope all the, the difference between all the three statements are clear to each one of you right okay so thank you so much and if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video so have a nice day and thank you